Did you know that one of the oldest astronomical calendars in the world is not in Egypt or in Europe, but in northern Kenya? Near Lake Tukana is a site called Namoratunga. It means stone people in the Tukana language. At the site are 19 stone pillars, each about one to two meters high. At first, archaeologists thought the pillars might mark grave sites, but that just didn't pan out. And they were arranged in a way that just didn't seem accidental. So they asked themselves, could they be aligned with the sky? In 1978, researchers proposed exactly that. They looked at the site and concluded that the pillars were aligned with the rising of seven particular stars and that the people who erected the site probably used it as a calendar for 12 months and 354 days in the year. Here's how it works. When you're standing at one pillar and you're looking across the top of one or two other pillars, your sight line continues to the horizon. When a particular star rises at that line, you know it's the beginning of a particular month. But some scholars called that into question. They said the dating was all wrong. And in the early 2010s, archaeologists finally obtained some radiocarbon dates from the region. And that showed that the site was actually much, much older, from about 2400 BC. That made some scholars doubt the whole star alignment theory. But recently, a scholar of mechanical engineering looked at the alignments again, this time using modern simulation software. He projected the night sky back to 2400 BC, and he found that the stars do align with the directions encoded in the pillars. If this is all correct, it's remarkable. This calendar system was really sophisticated in the context of its time. It was erected at the same time as Stonehenge, which may also have been a kind of calendar based on the sun. Ancient Egypt was developing the first 365 day solar calendar at this time, and the Mayan calendar was still 2000 years in the future. Namuratunga is possibly one of the earliest star alignment sites in East Africa, and maybe one of the earliest star observatories by pastoralists known anywhere in the world. And on top of that, versions of this calendar are still in use today. Several Eastern Cushitic communities like the Burana and the Rindila in Kenya and the Oromo in Ethiopia still use a stellar lunar calendar that relies on the rising of the same seven stars. These calendars is what allowed the researchers to make the connection between the pillars and the stars in the first place. And this shows the enduring legacy of indigenous knowledge systems in Africa. And Namoratunga might be one of their earliest monuments. Follow me for more East African history stories.